how can I go digital without getting discouraged? That's a, <laughs> a different question. And the question comes from David in Cape Coral, Florida. Paul, I enjoy great satisfaction in listening to my reference system. Me too. I have not yet made the leap towards digital streaming as a medium to invest in. I listen mostly to vinyl. I have an all-tube front end, all-tube phono stage, into my bi-amp speaker arrangement with tubes for the high end and Emotiva, good brand from my buddy Dan Lofman, for the low frequencies. My loudspeakers are BNW 801s, and while taste and sound is entirely personal, yeah, no kidding, uh, and subjective, what is a cost-effective method to introduce a digital sound source into my system that'll help me from being quickly discouraged? You know, when I first got that question, I, I pondered it. I thought, well, wh what would make you think you're going to be discouraged right away? And then it, it occurred to me, it dawned on me. A lot of people who are into vinyl are enamored with the way that vinyl sounds. And, and for good reason. I mean, vinyl sounds great. It, it's very different than digital, but it's, hey, uh, a great vinyl system is, is a, a thing of beauty. And so we're naturally hesitant to make changes like that. And we read that, you know, it's like Republicans and Democrats. Man, the two just never get together, right? And it's like vinyl and digital. And it's all music. It's all going to be okay. But I truly understood the question. And the reason I truly understood it is because there's, I'm quite aware of the, this, this fear, this trepidation that people have that they're going to, they're so enamored with what they have, like in my system, I love what I have, that adding a whole new flavor of source is going to detract from that, or at least be so different that, you know, how can I, how can I like it? So really the question comes down to, if you, if you have this system and you invest X number of dollars and you get a DAC and you get a CD player or you get a DAC that has streaming capabilities and you hook it up and you listen to it, you're going to be like, oh man, and you know what? It's going to be different. There are good and bad points to digital compared to vinyl. And there are good and bad points to vinyl compared to digital. And the question is, is so spot on because what this person wants to know is, what, well, I don't want to be discouraged. I really want this to work because I see it as, it, if maybe not the future, it's certainly uh, something I want to participate in. Because streaming, there's a whole world out there of wonderful music libraries that are a million tracks long, deep. Uh, I mean, God, on my, you know, Kobas, if I, just something pops in my head like, whoa, I want to hear that. Boom, got it. Now, I mean, my record collection, my CD collection, only numbers in the hundreds. Maybe yours in the thousands. I don't think you got a million albums. I don't think you have four million albums. And yet streaming offers that kind of library experience that you'll never, ever get by restricting yourself to just vinyl. So, what does one do? Well, uh, I mean, I could give you a, a, a shameless plug before the shameless plug for my book and tell you, well, buy PS Audio Equipment and you will not be disappointed. <laughs> and I truly believe that. But you want to find a manufacturer that you trust in sound quality. And PS Audio, I'm sure, is one of those that you'll consider. Uh, because we, we not only compare to vinyl, but we compare to the absolute sound, which is music. So on this system, our criteria, regardless of format, electronics, or source, how emotionally involved do we get 
when we play music on the system. So yes, there are differences when we play our turntable and we're listening to a vinyl album and that has its charms and its detractions. When we play streaming on that, it has its charms and its detractions. But all of that is so much fun to listen to on the system because that's what we focus on. We tune digital to sound closer to analog and we tune analog to sound a little closer to digital. And, and we do that because there is a truth, a musical truth, that we're trying to hit. And it's rare amongst hi-fi companies, but certainly we're not the only ones. There are other great companies. Shit Audio. You're, I mean, uh, Dan's Emotiva. Uh, it's the, I mean, they're not the highest end, but they make good sounding stuff. Um, who else? Gosh, there's tons of people out there who whose mission in life is to create great music on a stereo system regardless of the source. So yes, you can do it. Just set yourself a budget. If you want, send me an email, paul at psaudio.com. I'd be glad to walk you through some scenarios so that you won't be disappointed. And we can certainly make sure of that. Okay, shameless plug time. Have you got the book? 99% true. I wrote it for you. I say that a lot. And what does that mean? Well, I didn't write it for myself. I wrote it because I wanted to share the crazy life that I've had with you. And it's been so much fun. As people get this book, they write me and they go, oh my God, you were a rebel. How did you ever survive? Or people write me like, oh my God, I never told anybody about those stories. And you finally had the guts to step up and do it. <laughs> it's really been fun. So 99% true. Get it in the audiobook or the print version. Go to Amazon. Type in 99% true. Thanks. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.